Okay, uh, my name is Dice, but uh, for this role I'm gonna be playing, or I am playing, Michael Kamate. Well, Michael is, um, I would say, is this, is this chill guy um, in his late 20s. Um, they just got back to Vinduk, uh, very down to earth, very chilled, collective, um, well presented, um, well spoken. Um, yeah. Wondering if you would like some company. Beautiful flowers for beautiful lady. I don't think any nobody can hate Michael. Uh, Michael is this character that everybody can fall in love with, um, whatever age group, um, or sexes or gender, if I can put it that way. Um, I think every anybody can fall in love with Michael's character. Yeah, uh, yeah. Everybody can. I mean, he's the guy. <laughs> he's the guy. So besides him being uh, surrounded by very good women uh, that are down to earth, um, very um, 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 humble, um, one being his mom and the other one being a very success successful doctor, uh, his aunt, um, the fact that him himself has come up in, 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 in that, has, has been brought up in that environment, uh, I would say it's a plus. Uh, it is very, it's something very, which is very close to my own personal uh, upbringing. So uh, it's, it's, a, it's quite a close character. So I would say that is a perfect role that, that um, stood out for me amongst every other role that was in the third wheel. Michael, listen. You, you have to be there for your father, okay? Listen, remember your father, okay? Your father, son, please, don't. What I hate about him is that he's a, he's a nice guy. He's too much of a nice guy. Um, he's reluctant to do things, especially when, it's, when it has to do with his own goodwill. Um, he overthinks everything. He has to get an opinion about everything um, from his obviously close uh, close relatives or friends. Um, that's what I hate about him. He, well, which can also be a good thing, but at the same time, I think you, he needs to be making his own decisions instead of getting advice. <laughs> um, I would say Michael and Dice are like brothers. Okay, they come from the same house. Uh, they share the same characteristics, but they're not entirely the same person but they share certain characteristics. Yeah. The biggest challenge about, I, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't call it a challenge um, per se, because I, I fell in love with the character from the beginning. Um, what I had to adjust more is just basically the dialogue, him being the main, one of the lead actors in, in, the, in, in the third wheel. Um, the dialogue is a lot. <laughs> the dialogue is a lot, so sticking to the script um, was um, a challenge at first because I come from a background whereby I, as an artist, express myself at will. Uh, when I'm in the studio, it's about my inner thoughts that I express in the studio. But here I'm restricted and I have to stick to the script. So I had a lot of um, restriction to how I'd want to express myself as Michael. But uh, at the end of the day, it worked out pretty well. It worked out pretty well. My name is Michael. Michael Kamati. And the man in that coffin was also my father. Ah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but um, I don't know. Hey, maybe, maybe Chops. Maybe Chops um, is at his prime of his career as far as acting is concerned. Um, is is young. Um, I think he's, he's a bit shorter than I am, but he can do. I think he can. I think he can pull it off. The only thing is that he can't rap like me. But yeah. Take care of my daughter. I mean, you wouldn't want to be fed to the dogs, now, would you? Of course not. I thought so. <laughs> that is. That is not my favorite line, but it's not from me at least, but it's from, from Birkas and I think, I mean, it's, it's quite bold, you telling me that, but yeah, it's, it stands out as one of my favorites at least.
Um, definitely uh, Birkus, Ronel's dad, the notorious gangster. Um, he's, what, he's got one of the coolest roles in, uh, in, in Third Wheel. I think he's, he's actually one of the biggest uh, roles that people have to look out for. I think, <laughs> I think that's a very cool role. I think people, people will really relate or will really connect with, with Birkus in the Third Wheel. I've taken a lot of experience from this. Um, I've learned from my co-actors. Um, I took as many as I could from them, watching them on set, um, listening to the, to the director at all times. And um, I've the one thing that I've learned more is just to become the character. Um, it is not about you as, as, as Dice. Um, when you have to do Michael, you really have to get into character. You have to really become Michael. Um, and being with being on set with so many great actors, um, so many legends in the industry, uh, I think I was very much privileged to absorb as many as I could and learn from them in that short period of time, at least when I was on set with them. So I've taken away, um, I've really broadened my horizons as far as acting and um, yeah, and directing to a certain extent. <laughs> Now I can direct my own music videos. <laughs> See, I'll do anything, anything, to protect what my father had started. How dare you speak to my son like that, huh? Mom, what are you doing here? Look, this is not the best time for you to be here right now, Mom. Please, just go home. Please, Mom. <laughs> um, I think I've always been an actor, but um, to a certain extent I didn't realize it because um, as far as storytelling in my music videos, I always like to tell a story um, and I always put myself in the forefront of being one of the actors. So I like telling a story. In my music, I like telling stories. Um, in my music videos, I like to portray what I say in my music to make it more realistic. So I think everything started with the music, um, but me being or looking at myself as an actual actor, um, came to me when when I did my first um, when I did my first short film, if I can call it that, uh, Okashishu. Um, we did a lot of acting. I was really being driven and drilled by the director because of this concept that we both wanted to execute. But at the time when we had it on paper, I didn't think it would be that hard. But when we got on set. Um, I did my fair share of acting, but then when I actually looked at myself, I was like, oh, I'm not really bad. Hmm, what if, what if, just what if I could? Hmm. Yeah, and then uh, one day I get a phone call and the rest was history. <laughs> the most funniest person to me, um, well, everybody's, everybody have, has got their own funny moments, but the one person that tops it all is, is Definitely Nafimane. Nafimane is one. And then my best friend Bonnie, obviously. Uh, forever son, I see you. <laughs> That's another guy. Uh, whenever I don't have either Forever Son or Nafimane on set for that specific day, uh, I don't get to laugh. I mean, it's a sad moment because <laughs> I'm used to the giggles already. When they're there, they make everybody laugh. They're the clowns on set. that <laughs> the directors we worked with a very good director um, one that knew what he wanted and that helped you understand the vision as well uh, during rehearsals he would walk through the character with you he would co-act with you to making sure that you know exactly what is required from you and he would explain to you on the certain angles as far as shots were concerned on how he envisioned it to be. So he made things easier for me as, a, as an actor. Um, he, he made it very easy. He was very accommodating as far as being myself on set. He would let me get away with certain things when I was out of script. Um, he allowed certain things. He allowed me to, to give him my input uh, when it comes to um, certain roles, um, certain script. Um, the wardrobe. So he was open to suggestions. He was very accommodating. Oh, he is very accommodating. 
um, he played a significant role or part in in Michael, um, really just pushing him and making sure that um, the 150 percent or the 200 percent was really brought out in front of the camera. So I would say, all in all, I'll give him a nine. <laughs> I can't really give him a ten. Um, yeah. And on top of that, when we when challenges presented itself, he always knew how to um, make the best of the situations. Um, he would not really get stuck um, as far as creativity. When we had certain challenges, he would always know how to play around it and make the best of the situation. So yeah, um, very good director. Um, I only hope that, I only pray a long lasting life for him so that we at least <laughs> We can shoot more and more seasons, uh, years in and years in to come in the future. Yeah. The team, starting from the from the actors, I think the director and the crew were well picked, um, very well picked. I think that is where everything started. Um, where I have to take my head off is uh, the fact that the actors were well chosen. Um, the pro, the production, the crew, um, starting from wardrobe um, to uh, my favorite part, which is <laughs> the food, <laughs> to the makeup. Um, a team of young people, but very passionate, um, very willing, um, willing to do sacrifices or to make sacrifices. Um, I would say, at the end of the day, we became one big family. Uh, even before that, just during rehearsals, you could see that there was a lot of energies, good energy, positive energies, just bouncing towards each other. Uh, ish, I would say, all in all, it was one of the best experiences that I had uh, working with the crew, um, from the director, the co-directors, the makeup, to everybody. I would say that was one of the best directors. Actually, a few weeks after production, I started missing everybody. <laughs> Became, because they became part of my daily routine, they became part of my family. Um, you become so close to these people. You share jokes um, when you're waiting for, um, especially for us that are always early. <laughs> when you come early enough, you find yourself just offset, um, napping on shoulders with this other um, actor or actress, you know. We had those moments where, we, where some human moments where you can't take away, where it was just a pure human moment, nothing to do with acting, whereby you just gel with this person and yeah, you can't take away that. Those moments, I, it's, it's priceless. It's priceless. Sit down. What's all this about? Ronyal is my everything. She's the best thing that ever happened to me. Who is this going to? You are a wise young man. I don't understand what you mean. <laughs> Come on. We all know that my daughter is crazy about you. And when a woman is in love, men like you tend to take advantage of it. <laughs> 